You're watching Seatome TV. Knowledge is power. How long does it take for chemotherapy to start working? As soon as it enters the body. Okay. All right. Yeah, very quickly. Right. And then it doesn't stay in the body very long. No, well. no. And that's the problem with chemotherapy is um, you can only have so much of it. Mm. I mean, obviously, it's going to affect any rapidly reproducing cell whenever you give it to them, give it to a person. But after a while, you just can't, you know, your body just can't tolerate it. Mm, yeah. So yeah. that's the reason. If your body could take, tolerate it, then, you know, it would be curative in some sense because anytime the tumor comes back, mm. you just retake it. Right. But yeah. you know, there's a limit to how much chemotherapy you can have. Right. But on that concept of, of uh, cancer being something that, you know, you just take a pill for every now and then, we are really, we are rapidly entering that phase of cancer mm -hmm. treatment where mm -hmm. it is something that is a very, is chronic but yeah, chronic easily disease, treatable yeah. and and you know like a maybe a type 2 diabetes kind yes, of thing exactly. um yeah. when that's to me the most exciting thing we'll about cancer soon. right now yeah, yeah we'll be really, there soon. yes that's that is very exciting and again back to what we were talking about at the start of the hour with the prevention Mm -hmm. You know, being able to test for certain genetic mm -hmm. markers and make sure that you're doing everything you can for prevention, catching cancer early, taking one of these fancy pills. Wow, that's going to make such a huge difference to how, it, how it, we won't have that understandable trauma response when we hear about a cancer diagnosis. It'll be okay, well, give us a prescription, I'll head off, go, like blood pressure meds or things like that, mm -hmm. perhaps. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, not that far off. Thank you for watching Seatome TV. Subscribe below and stay informed.